What's up, guys? So, yeah, it has been a while since you've heard from me. I apologize for that. I assume my last video was three months ago. Yeah, three months ago or so. Um, just had tons of issues in my life, tons of issues with the new data, just issues after issues. And um, it's finally better now, finally at a point where I was able to finally get this damn update out. So it is out, it is released, there is a new player appreciation event going on. Now. Obviously, <laughs> I appreciate anyone who's still playing more now than ever. So, um, so I just have a, a nice little event out for everybody. We will start with that, and then of course there are some updates, we'll get to those first. But uh, let me just explain the update, we'll start off with that thing. So... Um, to do the update, all you really have to do is kill dragons. Uh, there are multiple things that are, are, are qualified as dragons. Vorkath qualified as a dragon. If you search NPC dragon, you'll see pretty much everything that would qualify. If it comes up on here, it would qualify as a dragon. And this does include uh, Vorkath, Wyrm, and a Drake, which I just added the word dragon just to make them count as dragons. But uh, don't, shh, don't tell anybody. Um, so, there are new monsters, I'll show you those in a sec, the Byrams and the Drakes. I'll uh, just show you the loot since I'm in the interface. Um, so to get to those two, you come to the event, colon colon event, and then if you talk to him, you have the Catacombs, which is where you'll fight Wyrams, and then the Arceus House, which is where you'll fight Drakes. Um, I guess I'll just show you what the Catacombs look like and the Drakes click. The Drakes are weak to um, magic. And then these things, the worms, are weak to stab and range. So, yeah, kill those. Um, but the main goal for the event is to kill any type of dragon and get these green dragon eggs. Once you have these green dragon eggs, you're going to make your way to Karamja. The best way to get there, if people keep asking, because I'm sure people watching this video are going to want to know, is uh, if you have a glory, you can use your glory to get straight there. Or you can use the free minigame teleport to Benucci's Pizza. And then it's actually this probably faster to be honest, and you don't require a glory. So just run over here. You can see there's other people. Uh, I've opened the gates, and I'm sure there might be someone standing here. Nope, it's not. So use your incubator on the. Actually, I think you just click it. I think you just click the incubator. Yep, click the incubator, and then you can take Skibby directly back to where you just were, a drill dungeon. And then once you have a green baby dragon, which is a pet by the way, this is the pet. So, it is a weird pet this time. We're doing something a little different. I like to do, I'd like to try to do every single event differently. And um, there's some, some, some different things going on. So, everybody basically gets the pet. This is one of the first events where you can... I mean, the, the item you get is also the pet. So, it is a quote-unquote consumable pet because this is the reward you um, give him the dragon. And he gives you a reward. So, I will show you exactly how the rewards are um, determined. Okay, so this is the direct file. Hopefully, I've not shown anything that could be used against me in the court of law. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, how it rolls, there are um, nine possible rolls. Zero is a number, so even though it says eight, it is nine. Um, so, you can see the first one here, um, you're guaranteed to get a mystery box, and then you can get um, anywhere from one plus two, so three. So, you would get three. Um, and then here, one, the possibility is four. Here's the possibility of five. So then you have here, here is the possibility of three total mystery boxes with one small. Is that 76 four, the small one? I turned it off debug mode, so now you don't see the. No, 76. Okay, so this is probably the best loot right here in loot number three. Maybe not. I don't know. You get one big one. This one right here, you just straight up get one large goodie bag as a possible reward. Um, and then here, I guess, is just another mystery box. Why? Well, I, I suppose I forgot to change that, so... <laughs> if you get that one, I mean, there's no way you would know. Um, this is Crystal Keys. You can, you'll get five minimum with the possibility of 30 total. These right here are the lar uh, small arc ones. You, you'll get two. And then you have here with the possibility of three. So you can see the reward is kind of around one mystery box slash one small goodie bag. Let's just uh, empty our inventory and get a couple of the pets is that the id that is so i'll show you sort of some live rolls if you will and if you guys want i can do a video where i actually just you know open i do like a hundred of his rewards or or however you would want to um whatever you'd want to see let me know what you guys would want to see it is different every time we do seem to be getting unlucky you just get once pretty unlucky then we get it twice Oh, uh, so there we go. I mean, that's 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 the big one right there. Shoot. 
But you can see that this is basically how the rewards work. I, I suppose the worst item would probably be the crystal keys. But I mean, you know, everybody everybody has their own version of what would be good and what would be bad. We'll just you know open these up. You can see that's kind of loot from ten green dragon eggs. The chance of getting a dragon egg is one in twenty-five. Uh, so it's not bad at all. Um, and then, so, I mean, that's it. That's pretty simple for the event. You're mostly just killing dragons. Um, like I said, we are doing something different for this event. So this event is going to start off a little differently how than other events have gone. So that's all I just want to say. I just want to say, um, you know, don't be concerned that this is too um, simple or just not enough to it. Trust me, there's other things that will be a part of it soon and they will... They will make sense when they happen. So that's it for the event. You just kill dragons. Uh, I, it seems like people are, are confused as to which dragons. It's any dragons. So you can just go to uh, training teleport will work. Yeah, training teleport Brimhaven dungeon, and you know kill iron dragons here. Go to the wilderness, kill the green dragons. Um, I believe red dragons are north. Blue dragons should be should be. <laughs> Where are blue dragons? Blue dragons should be Taverly Dungeon. That's I believe that's where they are. So I mean, just go to any normal dragon that you would kill, and it works the same. Um, so as a part of the update, uh, there's also brutal black dragons, which can be found deep in the wilderness, uh, level 32-ish near the Chaos Altar. The one that's uh, I'll just show you a map real quick. It's actually I guess that's the last thing I was looking at with this map. Uh, right around here. Uh, and those have, so I'll show you, just show you their drops for a second. I, I think I break and open up iTunes or something. Uh, Brutal Black right here. So just some interesting unique drops. Probably better for Ironman, but they are in the Wilderness, and there were Wilderness updates, which I will get into right now. Uh, so for the Wilderness updates, we had, well, for starters, the big one, the Wilderness weapons are out. There is now a, I'm calling it the Risky Drop Table. Um, so basically, whenever you're scold in the Wilderness and killing monsters, you will have a chance to access this table. So if we go to uh, Revenant Caves, I assume we will have some people here scold in killing Revenants. Let's see what we got. Yep, there we go. We have a scold dude killing Revenants. So when you are scold and you kill any monster in the wilderness, any monster, could be the scorpions up in the north or chaos druids or, you know, Revenants, um, you have a base, basically a 1 in 2,000 chance of hitting the table. There's 9 items on the table, everything with equal weight. So basically, the chance of getting any specific item is 1 in 18,000. But um, that's not really how it works. It's 1 in 2,000. Um, and that's how you would get the Chain Mace, the uh, Scepter, and the Crossbow. Um, when you get the drop, it is uncharged. And to charge it, you need a Revenant Aether. He's not picking up his Aether. He probably should... Crab should pick up that ether because they only drop um, one to ten, and you need a thousand to charge one weapon. So you should definitely loot your ether. I'm I'm assuming it would have some good trade value to other people, to anybody who wants the specific weapons. What the weapons do is they do basically double damage. I think the scepter or, or not scepter, the, the, cha the mace does a little bit more, but it's basically double. Uh, you know, they don't collect it. That's a I mean that's a that's an idea that you can do. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the, and then there's other items that are on the table as well, which I, I don't have the picture here on this this web on this post, but I will add the picture and then uh, this this link to this will be in the description below if you want to just read if you'd prefer to um, you know watch your videos that way. But um, as far as other changes with the wilderness, the skull timer is longer. I guess you wouldn't have really noticed it, um, but the skull timer was only I think five minutes. When in actual RuneScape, it's twenty. So now it's actually twenty. Um, and then the, the combat system was changed. So I, I, so I made some tweaks to the exact combat formula, um, hopefully making damage higher. And then also along with that, I've made some stab t uh, some type attack bon bonuses. So for example, if you use this, this weapon right here, whip is a slash weapon. So any monster I kill with slash, I'll do even more damage than I used to. So it's always good to be using the weapon that uh, the monster's weak to. And as t how you determine what monster is weak to what, eventually I'd like to have some sort of database or um, update the wiki. Uh, but for the most part, it should be common knowledge. So just ask people in game or um, I'm going to try to get th most things the same as old school. So if a monster is weak to it on old school, it would be weak to it on here. 
Um, uh, and then what I'll do is we did we've done testing videos before on the combat. We'll do another one. We'll do another test video, and we'll see where all the weapons are at. We'll see what it looks like. Um, we'll use those times to compare it. I mean, it's a little weird to compare it after the fact or so far so far from it, but. That's what we'll do, and we'll figure out what needs to be done. I think the combat should definitely be better if it's exactly where we want to be. We'll see. We'll just have to do some more testing. Um, and that's that. So the uh, next uh, big thing that came out with this event is the um, the runecrafting skill bus. So there is now a runecrafting skill bus. So let's just go to... Um, let me get out of here. Okay, so you have us, uh, we're at the sponsor zone, this is where the astral altar is. So, how to get to the runecrafting skill boss, it can be any altar. That I believe there's no level requirements, you should be able to do this at level 1. Uh, but get to any altar, and then you can do the drop method, and I'll show you that now. This is probably the fastest and most efficient way to get some teleports. So, craft, uh, loot up pure essence craft, loot up pure essence craft. You have a 1 in 10 chance of getting some teleports, so we should get, theoretically, two um there we go teleports right there and it's not exactly one teleport per kill you'll see exactly you'll see how it works in a second um so with your teleports in hand um you're gonna also need a pickaxe so let me get that um and then you'll also need a chisel which i think is wow i removed that so then click your teleport, and um, if you want a better explanation, there's you can check the, the post below. Um, I have a text explanation, or in-game, you can talk to the Dark Wizards, and they will give you an explanation. Uh, so first off, talk to any of them at any point, and get a spell tag. You can only have one spell tag, so just talk to them real quick and grab a spell tag. Get these. Be careful. They can uh, You can get hurt doing this. It's random. I think I made it based on your level. But don't quote me on that. So right here, you can see what you're going for. You you almost uh, always get corrupt energy. Um, so that's just kind of an extra thing. But then this is these blank runes are what you're going for. You need one of each for the spell tag. Requires one air rune, one fire rune, one mind rune. So when you have them, uh, what you do is you need 100 essence as well, or 100 energy. So you can see it's pretty fast to get the energy. You'll you'll usually have it by the time you have the. The runes, uh, never mind, <laughs> we can achieve it on this account, nice. So right now we would go to, I'll just show you what it would be look like. So go to any any uh, of the, um, what are they called? The, the, the Zamrock Mage, go anywhere that has a Zamrock Mage. Go to the Abyss, and then go to the respective altar. So here we would go to the Air Altar, and then with the 100 energy we just infuse it. So then when you have all three of these spells, or all three of the runes needed for the spell tag, it's best to probably just stay here until you have a good chunk because the teleports, you I mean, they're not hard to get as you just saw, but you do, you know, you do use them, so. Once you have all three, you will use it on the blob and kill it. Let me spawn. So then we have the runes, and then use the spell tag on the boss, and you will defeat the boss. You will get always a rune package, and then you roll a reward as well. Uh, yes, I think, believe you rolled two. I believe this was from that. I, I could be wrong, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it rolls twice. Uh, the main thing you're really going for is just myth as the um, the magic leaf, the thing that's required to make mossy. Is it mossy leaf or magic leaf? I don't recall. But what the the thing to make mossy keys. That's that's the main thing that all skilling bosses give, and this one is the. I believe this has the best chance of giving it. So this is definitely one you're going to want to kill. It's good runecrafting SP. I probably should have shown that when I was, you know, when I, when I killed it. But yeah, and there's no requirements. So this is the runecrafting skill boss. This is our third skilling boss. We currently have Hunter, which is Tuz. We have Invention, which is Humonoclus, or however you pronounce that guy's name. And then Arcanist Blob, which is the uh, runecrafting one. So pretty happy with how this guy turned out. Uh, I'm trying to make them all a little different, have all little different mechanics and everything. So let me know if you noticed any issues with that. As far as the update, I believe that is it. That is the majority of it. Uh, we are back. We will have, um, we will have, uh, <laughs> we'll have more videos. Um, hopefully, I'll have um, uh, at that testing video. I do, I do want to do one of those first, and then obviously a reward opening or a loot from 100 eggs or, or, or whatever we end up doing. Um, I'll have that video out as well. But we are back. We're officially back. Should be able to pick up things. Um, you know, we'll, we'll get back into the rhythm of things. I, I, I definitely want to work on the website. The forums are pretty bare. Um, they, I mean, they've always been bad, but 
you know, let's try to fix that, right? Let's try to fix that. Let's try to make improvements. I definitely want to improve on the voting websites. Those are bad as well. They're just not really um, enticing, you know. I don't I don't think most new players that see it are interested in playing the server, you know, based on those. So there's still a lot of things we can do. There's a lot of work ahead of us, but, you know, I'm back. Let's get to it. If you have any suggestions on content you want to see, anything you know that's wrong with the game or wrong with this update, you know, just let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. I will see you guys soon.